Hello everyone and welcome back to All Car News today and we have a very special car here, it's a brand new BMW 2 Series. Now this is in the 2 Series Grand Coupe which is based on BMW's front wheel drive architecture which shared with Minis. But this is a true rear wheel drive BMW 2 Series um, sharing the all new cluster architecture with the BMW 4 Series, 3 Series and basically every other rear wheel drive based BMW. And of course this one is the M40i model, M240i. X Drive all wheel drive. It looks really good in black right now. And we're gonna take a full tour review and we're gonna show you everything about this brand new two series. And a huge thanks again to our friends over at BMW of Ridgefield for letting us check out this brand new car. Okay, everyone, here it is. This is the brand new 2022 BMW M240i X Drive. It will be often rear wheel drive as well coming down the road, but right now we have the X Drive model and check out this design. Now, a lot of people are finding it very controversial. They don't like the triangles. They don't like the lack of the halos on the front end. And a lot of people don't like the taillights, but I just saw this. This is my first time seeing it in person. And honestly, I'm actually pretty impressed by it so far. So let's take a little closer look at this design that's going on over here. So up front, of course, everything's all new as it is an all new car. And we do have a really clean design, I think, actually going on up here. I do think the triangles are a little strange to get used to at first, but at least on this M240i model, as you can see, they're wide and open right here. So to let all the cooling in for the additional power from the six cylinder engine under the hood. And um, I think that looks a lot better than just having them closed with vents in there as well. Um, I actually do quite like these new headlights. This one doesn't have the full LED options, though. So only this LED portion lights up right here, um, which is a little bit interesting. And of course, we have our main beam right here as well. And there's this unique shape going on. But of course, they are full LED. And I think they look generally pretty good for the rest of the design of the vehicle, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can find the key real quick. There's a key. You can turn them on so I can show you what that looks like. Off. And there you go. And on. As you can see, this beam is the only one turning on right now. And there's this little side marker, which is really cool as well. Um, coming up to the front of the car as well, we can see the lack of a gigantic kidney grill up front as well which i think the people are really going to find really welcome over here um, and as you can see in these grills right now they look like they're closed and they are so these shutters open and close when the engine needs more or less cooling depending on the conditions as you can see right there and i really like how bmw is integrating a lot of these sensors right in these little pieces in between the kidneys and they're doing this across all their models which i think is really cool as well the general front shape of the car is actually really dynamic i think and i really love the hood bulge on the hood right there it really has a nice shape to the car and i think from a lot of different angles it looks really good i really like how bmw has these excellent accentations i can't speak right now um that kind of surround the front of the grill it really has a nice aggressive stance and it kind of gives it a more aggressive stance when you look from the side as well which i think looks really cool looks like a sports car it's awesome also, I think on this one, this one's fully blacked out, almost. Um, it doesn't have the full shadow line package. As you can see, there is a little bit of that um, bronze finish around the trim over here. But these black wheels definitely help. And I think they look really good in the car with the contrasting blue brake calipers as well. Another one right here would be these. Now, if BMW fans know that these kind of M-style side mirrors have been exclusive to full-on M cars, but now BMW is making them sort of like a performance option as well as giving them on the M kind of like performance cars as this is just an M240i. That is a new change. And of course it's finishing that bronze. I think you can get them in black as well, which is a nice feature. Coming around to the side, let me go on the other side because the sun is glaring, but you can see the side profile is great. Now this car is wider and longer in every dimension compared to the old two series. And that is, of course, because it's on the new car cluster architecture and BMW wanted to add a little bit more space in the rear end, but this has increased the weight a little bit. It's like 300, 200 or 300 pounds heavier than the old two series, which is a bit of an issue for some people. But regardless, I think it does still look really good, even though there's a little bit more heft going on underneath the chassis. Um, the side profile is great. It has that classic rear wheel drive kind of proportions just coming down. You can see the elongated hood right there. The wheels are pushed all the way out to the edges. And I think, this, I think it just looks really good from the side profile as well really clean sharp and angular i really like this design trait they did over here as you can see one second kind of sharp cut off edges on the upside sills as well that looks really cool i'm starting to really like bmw's new flush door handles at first i kind of found them a little tacky but they're kind of starting to work in with this more angular design that's going on i think it's starting to look really good nice nice going on stuff going on over there coming around to the rear is kind of where a little bit of controversy happens i think with a lot of people 
that would be with the new tail lights. Now, <clears throat> the new 2 Series, of course, like I said, it's all new, and they have a new designer for it as well, and people are kind of questioning these new three-dimensional kind of like heel tail lights that BMW is throwing right now. Um, I did not like them in person. Let me just get the key again real quick to kind of turn it on so I can show you guys. I didn't like them in person too much. I mean, in pictures too much, but now seeing it in person, I'm so excuse me, I'm starting to understand it a little bit more. Here they are on. Step back a little bit. And in all black, I think it hides out the kind of bigger shape of them really well, and it kind of blends into the, the um, overall design of the car much better than in pictures. Um, still a little bit taking to get used to, but from the side profile, at least they look really good. Again, the, the general side design is really, really impressive too. I love the flared out fenders BMW did. You can see how flared out they are from this kind of shadow going across and how it curves into the body. This is a very BMW design trait right here. This whole um, rear three quarter panel. I think it's a really strong BMW um, design going on in there. But of course, people think that falls apart with the taillights. And the front on rear view is a little wide, I think. I wish they kind of like made them a little bit longer or something. I think the trunk is a little too wide, but that's all your own opinions to make up right there. This is the M240i model, like I said before. So we have the trapezoidal exhaust tips on the edge. Of course, a sportier exhaust system, sportier design package with this diffuser going on over here as well. But yeah, guys, I'm starting to really like this car. Here's it from another angle over here really really tell the kind of dynamic shape of the car from this angle as well all the light in the sun today is catching all the lines I, I don't know i just think it's really good um it's going to take some getting used to for some people in the rear end but i'm really really digging in actually so far in person of course we have the signature bmw kind of window kink right there as well which is another signature feature as well so coming around to the rear as we are outside we might as well open up the trunk It's not power, oh no, BMW. So it's not a power trunk, but we do have a trunk. Um, storage space is not too bad. You can see back here, got some side pockets, for some extra storage right here. Um, everyone's asking if there's a spare and no one seems to be able to figure out how to open the floor in this car. So I'm guessing there is not a spare. Um, I don't see a lever to get underneath to see one either. So I'm gonna say there is not a spare in here. Just, I can't find a way to open this, but generally pretty good space. I'm pretty sure the seats do fold down in the rear as well if you wanted to add some more space. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's gonna be, they're gonna be making a convertible version anymore, which is a big bummer. So I think the convertible two series was a pretty popular option actually. But if you want that, you're gonna have to step up to the four series now, which has the wider kidney grills and not everyone really likes those. Just again, you can see the really elongated, stretched out rear wheel drive proportions. They really want to highlight that in the entirety of this new 2 Series. I think it looks pretty good. I think now I'm going to take a tour of the interior and check out what BMW has done there on this next generation model. Okay guys, now we're gonna take a look on the inside of the all new 2022 BMW 2 Series. We have the key right here, and of course it has comfort access, so I can keep the key in my pocket. I really like how BMW puts the kind of M logo on their M Sport models, which is really cool. I'll put the key in my pocket and walk up to the door. Of course, again, like I said earlier, we have these new kind of flush door handles, but they do open normally. So you can see I just touched it and it opened really quickly. So I can just do this, awesome. And here we are inside. Now, you're gonna see this interior in every single new BMW, yes, but there are some slight, slight, and I really mean really slight changes that they made to the two series to kind of differentiate it a little bit. And I mean really slight, like this pattern on the door panel, that's, that's the slight I mean. And this piece lights up actually, if you have ambient lighting, it's not on right now, but there's like a nice pattern in there for ambient lighting, which is really cool. And let's hop inside real quick. Okay, and we are inside the all new 2 Series, and as we've seen with every other BMW, it's the same interior, which isn't a bad thing, but it is kind of getting a little repetitive. Um, we do have a new interior coming on the new um, BMW iX, the BMW i4, and all their new models with a giant single piece screen. So that will be a nice welcome um, addition. But sitting in the new 2 Series, sort of the interior is the same, but the kind of driving position and view is different and unique to the car. So the window is really low, um, even though it is 
pretty deep visibility is pretty decent on the interior you feel like you're sitting in the car you feel like you're low in the car and it feels very sporty which i think is a really nice addition um this one does have these nice 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 tan leather seats and that also continues onto the door panels as well not a big fan of the gloss black plastic trim but uh, it's a plastic yeah um but there are different options you can get for that awesome and of course as this is the m240i we do have the m sport steering wheel as well really nice and chunky you've seen this a lot before i'm starting to get used to it a little more i did i still like the old circular one and it had a thinner spokes but i'm starting to get used to this one a little bit more for kind of spending some more time with it and i do like how bmw has the car as well in the gauge cluster and as well as the iDrive system as well i'm not going to go over these systems too much we've, we've covered them so many times but um you do have them here. And there is an optional heads up display, but I don't believe this one has it, unfortunately. Um, let me just start the car on real quick. Awesome, nice exhaust note. And as you can see, pretty much the same stuff with the iDrive system, really quick, really easy to use. Um, of course, it has over there updates, so if BMW has some kind of update that can push it to the car. And this one does have adaptive dampers, I believe. So coming down to the center console, we have an adaptive mode. So when you press adaptive, It'll still say that it's gonna have adjustment of the vehicle settings for the driving situation, situation, which is really cool. Of course, we have Sport, Comfort, Eagle Pro, and Adaptive, like I said before. And you can also configure your own drive mode and kind of set all the different um, driving dynamics to your different settings of your own liking. So you have transmission settings, engine, steering, and damping, which is really cool. And that also will end up changing your gauge cluster. So if you put it in Comfort, it'll go like this. And then Eagle Pro is blue and Sport goes red, which is really nice and that's pretty much it with that i wish i could show you guys more stuff in here but we've covered so many bmws and in their interiors already and it's all the same stuff which is kind of unfortunate um i want to try to see if i can show you guys this led lighting on the side because it's really cool let's see if we can kind of cover the camera there there it is a little bit yeah there it is right there so there's kind of like this cascading blue led lighting in the door panels which is nice and there is of course additional ambient lighting throughout the interior as well this one also has a sunroof so there's more light coming in and the big thing is with the longer wheelbase we have a little bit bigger back seat room which i'm going to have to try to get into because everyone really enjoys watching me get into back seats as well so let me just put my seat in a perfect driving position because it was a little far back for the video okay, it feels right I'm around six foot one inches, so if everyone needs a little reference. And now let's try to get back into the seats. We'll open the door. Let's hop in there. Okay, so to get into the rear seats of the new two series, I believe there is a button on the side that will enable you to do that. Yes, there is. It's a little lever. And the seat will move up for you, which is nice. Slowly. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to hop in. Oh, boy. Oh. I kind of close the door, but as you can see, here we are. I'm going to put the seat back. This is my driving position now. So it knows it hits. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay. So for my driving position, it's a little tight. I'm going to have to spread my legs out. Um, but for shorter people, I think it'll be fine. I do like how they carried out that kind of pattern into the back of the trim as well, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it is definitely more spacious. I can tell you that from being in the old two series, but... It's still very tight. I wouldn't want to keep people in here for like a long trip. And I guess a driver is six foot one. They're gonna have to move their seat up a little bit, but this is just my driving position. Um, I mean, the space back here is nice. You do have perforated leather seats like up front. You have your own climate controls and some two USB-C ports back here as well. Some speakers on the side. And it does feel very um, spacious in here thanks to these larger side windows back here as well. And of course you have the rear window. The headroom is not bad. I'm gonna, oh, well, it is very bad, but it is better than the other one. Uh, I can't put my head all the way back as this sloping roof line, but if I sit up right a little bit and have my head right here, it's it's a little bit of a scrunch. Let me see if I can flip the camera for a second. Yeah, as you can see, guys, it's, it's very tight back here. Um, I can't really put my head back. I'm kind of like scrunching down a little bit to kind of fit in. But um, if you do need to put four people back here you, or in the car, you can, but I don't recommend it. Um, it's a little tight. And of course, we get a nice better view of the rest of the interior from back here as well. Really looking nice as usual for BMW. And of course, the quality is top notch as usual. Everything's super solid, super well built. The materials don't feel cheap and all the um, buttons and everything are super solid. And this one is built in BMW's New Mexico plant, which is really cool, which the 3 Series has been built in for a while now. Um, and everything there is super, super great. So nothing to worry about in those regards. Um, it is very quiet and insulated in here as well. Let me just hop out real quick. 
it is super quiet and insulated there like i said before um i think that's due to the glass i'll just push this driver seats back and it'll go back into its position which is really cool awesome and while we're over here we might as well check under the hood because we want to see what the powertrains are of course pop the hood two hood latches as usual for bmw just shut the door real quick now this one has, as it is the M240i model, we have BMW's, um, of course, now famous three liter turbocharged inline six with this mild hybrid power um, system as well. And yeah, this one is producing a lot more power than the previous M240i. This one's around like 382 horsepower with other ones around 355-ish horsepower. I'll put the correct numbers right down there for you guys. Um, now the big thing is, of course, this does way more as it is on the newer architecture. It weighs around three to 400 pounds more. I'll put the correct figures down there as well, um, which is gonna um, hamper driving dynamics a little bit. But from what I'm seeing on the full on reviews some people have been talking about, it doesn't feel as heavy as you would expect but then the weight is a little bit more noticeable and of course you can get the cheaper 230i model which will give you a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine of course that can be had in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive as well and that will um, be around 250 260 ish horsepower um, for there both got the eight speed automatic gearbox which is really great transmission no manuals on offer right now maybe the mt will get it but we've been hearing it likely might not um, up front here, we have a McPherson strut suspension, of course, adaptive dampening, I believe, as well, which is really nice. And out back is a multi-link setup as well, which is cool. You can see how much space this engine does take. And it isn't completely behind the front axle. It's kind of like sitting on the front axle. So you can see the axle is right around here. So weight distribution is still pretty good around almost 50-50 for BMW, which is they always try to get as well, which is really cool. And yeah, this is just the engine bay of the new 2 Series. I'm going to shut this up in a second. And I think we want to hear the exhaust a little bit too, because that's always a fun thing to hear. Let's just shut this up. Solid thunk there. Let's go take a listen to this awesome exhaust system. And of course, guys, we have to talk about pricing as well. So as this is the M240i xDrive model, it is going to start a lot higher, of course, than the 230i model, which is going to start around $37,000, $38,000 in the United States, and it's only going to go up from there. So this one's going to be around $47,000, $49,000 plus, once you start adding on options and everything, um, which isn't too bad as, as considering the front-wheel drive-based 
um, two M235i Grand Coupe starts at $45,000, $46,000. So I would much rather have this than that other car. And I'll just look at it. It's starting to really, really capture the lines of the car in the sunlight as well. I'm really enjoying it so far. And I'm pretty impressed. I know the rear end's still a little bit iffy and people don't like it compared to the old one. It's a little bit heavier, it's wider and all that stuff. But I think people are really gonna end up liking this car regardless. And of course the M2 is right around the corner. Um, all wheel drive, way more power, M3 engine. So I think people need to stop fussing about it. Um, see it in person, have experience it yourself and then make your opinions on that. Regardless, thank you guys for joining us today on this video. Again, huge thanks to BMW of Richfield and the beautiful dealership over here. And here is the new two series. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Stay tuned for a lot more.